We do protect the integrity of the tooth. We do apply the gem in a way where it is saving as much enamel as possible. I'm Ebony Davis and I'm getting tooth gems done today. I wanna get tooth gems because I think it's just a cool way to customize your smile, open your mouth, you got a little bling, you know what I mean? I've never had braces before, I've never had Invisalign. Shout out to my parentals for, you know, the fire dentals. I think of myself as like a rock star, so a tooth gem very much fits into that category. I think tooth gems can be a fashion statement. I also think that there has to be a certain level of respect with everything that you do and understanding the origin of where certain trends come from. But ultimately, I just want these tooth gems to like further express my personality and show who I am to the world. I'm Lindsay Pierce. I'm the owner of Wax Melrose in Los Angeles, California. I opened up Wax at the beginning of 2020. I actually took it over from the previous owner. In the last five to six years, I've definitely seen an influx of people wanting tooth gems. I love that Dua Lipa just got them for the Grammys. It's definitely an, an elevated way to express yourself. You know which tooth you wanna do? Yeah, I wanna do my canine. All right, let's get started. First, I will consult with my client to choose gem color, gem size, and placement in the mouth. Then I will use a dental round to separate the lip from the gums. This ensures that I have a clean area to work with and that there's no cross-contamination where the gum could touch the gem. Then I will sanitize the tooth with rubbing alcohol. I use a dental round for this to ensure that the surface of the tooth is clean and smooth and that the gem will adhere properly. Then I will take the etching primer, apply it to the tooth only in the area that I'm going to be applying the gem. The etching primer breaks down the enamel of the tooth to open up so we have a porous surface to work with. Then I will apply the composite. It's similar to a composite that's used for braces. Then I will take the wax pencil, pick up my gem and apply it to the tooth surface. Before I cure, because once I use the curing light, we cannot move the gem, I show my client the placement to ensure that she's happy. I will cure the tooth for two rounds of 20 seconds, just to be sure that the composite has adhered to the tooth. After the curing, I like to take a microfiber brush to press on the gem just to ensure that it is safely bonded. I'll inform my client, Ebony, to wait 30 minutes before eating or drinking. This gives the composite ample time to finish curing. All right, let's have a look at the final result. Ah! <laughs> I love it, I love the bling. My initial reaction to the look was excitement, but I think it's gonna take some time for me to get used to because I've had the same smile for many, many years. So to look in the mirror and see something different is like, what's going on? Um, but I think they're beautiful. I think they're super cool. So for Ebony, we went with the gold palm tree and then we did two different kinds of Swarovski crystals. We did the Aurora Borealis and then the pink. So we only use Swarovski crystals. Those are known to have the, the lowest, almost 0.001 amount of lead. Uh, you do have to be careful with the gem quality because if it does have lead, you could poison yourself. Each gem costs $75. If you would like an additional gem, it's $35. And then we also offer a disco ball, which is the entire tooth, and that's for $150. We also offer 18 karat gold gems, which are very custom made, and those are $150 as well. So for aftercare, for the next 24 hours, your tooth could be sensitive, or just be gentle. After that, you can brush as normal, does not obstruct any of the surface of the tooth and you can continue on. They'll last for anywhere from six months to two years. The only thing I would say is if you're biting into anything hard, just make sure that it's not directly where the gem is because it could fall off. Right now, I can kind of feel the gems like in my mouth, you know, there's like a little bit of texture on my teeth that wouldn't normally be there, but I feel like after a couple of days, my brain is just gonna be like totally used to it. I think I'll definitely change up the tooth gems over time, especially now that I know how simple the process is and 
that there's so many different varieties and ways that I can get them styled. It's just like changing your hair or like, you know, making any kind of like physical change. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.